Well, you know, mate, Kyogo would be a fantastic addition to uh, Tottenham Hotspur, so I'm going to bring him down. He can carry my Big Macs, my quarter pound of meals, and my Big Tasty, so aye, right, we should get it done. Well, I'm back, guys, to Fog Football, and Kyogo potentially linked in this whole new Ange Tottenham rebuild if he goes. The Daily Record reporting 30 million Spurs bid. Now, I think this is only going to happen if Ange goes, but would Ange raid Celtic? Would he completely raid them? We, you know, we've seen Hatati, who's apparently the best player in the league. You guys thought that he's not even worth 20 million, so how's Kyogo going for 40? Is it because Kyogo's better goals, than Goals, that's why. He scores goals. He's got goals. He's he scores a shitload of them. Look, like 20, that, people read too much into ages. People treat Kyogo as if he's an old-age pensioner. Yeah, he, he, he's, he's 28. He's in his prime. Kyogo's got a good five years ahead of him before he starts to slow down. I'm just not seeing it why everyone is so focused on Kyogo's age. I mean, maybe... Not only is he younger than Harry Kane, in, in your eyes, he's better. I, I, yeah, I do. I genuinely believe that Kyogo's better than Harry Kane. So, I mean, if you want to ship me for that, then so be it. But I stand by that claim. And, you know, it does look like Ange Postacoglu is going to leave Celtic. I think he will be the next Tottenham manager. Now, the big question is, will he raid Celtic? Does he think the current Celtic players are good enough to A, play for Tottenham and B, improve Tottenham? Because that's what Ange Postacoglu will need to do if given the job. And I think Kyogo is good enough to improve Tottenham. I think Kyogo would offer Tottenham something that they don't have. And you've got to take into consideration that Ange is going to change Tottenham's style. He'll want to implement his own style. He's not going to change things up. He's not going to you know, switch his tactics and his style of play to accommodate the Premier League because he didn't do it when Celtic were in Europe. He didn't do it when they were taking on Real Madrid. So he's going to do it Spurs. That's if he does go, which I think he will. He's Let's got... be real though, right? Is Ange going to be able to implement his style? It's all right Celtic doing it in the Champions League for six games a season when you're pumping the league. But when he's Tottenham and he gets six games, the first six games, and he's trying to implement his style and they get pumped because he's trying to play his attack and style, and they say they come up against Arsenal, which would be the North London derby, or they come up against City, teams that are really good at attacking, and they will just exploit his way of play. Is that going to be acceptable, though? I think he's going to need to sort himself out at the back. It does, I know, but you also got to consider, take into consideration he's going to be playing that style with a higher level of player than he currently has at Celtic. So would, you, would, you say, would you say the Celtic back line's better than the, the Tottenham back line? I mean, I, Eric Dyer? Who else is it? Who, who else? Ben Davies? I mean, a guy, a, a guy that's named after a shite defender for Rangers. True, true. No, Hugo like, Lloris? Is he, is he better than Joe Hart? Hugo Lloris is shite these days. Yeah, he's better than Joe Hart. Well, I will, they've got Fraser Foster actually I'm starting games. Joe fucking Hart, for God's sake. Well, who else? Cal Walker-Peters? I think he still plays for Tottenham. My knowledge in the Tottenham teams have downhill. Like, 30 million might be a wee bit too much for Kyogo, but I, I still, I think Kyogo is a, a Tottenham level player. So hold on, right? If uh, if, if Kyogo is better than Harry Kane, should he not be going for more than Harry Kane? That's not how it works, you know, that's not how it works. You know the Premier League is hyperinflated in the Scottish League, you get peanuts. So, you, right, so let's just get this clear, right? You genuinely think that Kyogo is better than Harry Kane? I'm 100 fucking percent. And, and what depart every department? Every department apart from finishing. Fair enough. So you, well, uh, no, Harry Kane's, Kane's better than Kane, him. Harry Kane's better. Harry than Kane's him. better at build up, hold up play. Every day of the week, the guy goes deep and fucking pings balls for like sixty yards. Now I think he's overrated, like, but to fucking actually say Kyle goes better than him, I think you need your. This is a guy that some Celtic fans said Giamakis was better or worse than. I was Becky Prick Ryan when he doesn't know what he's talking about. Like, I'm t I, I, Hold I, on. I, that just gives him ammunition because he doesn't know what he's talking about, but you're saying Harry Kane's worse than this guy? I do, I. That's what. Right. I, Glenn Kamara was once linked at 20 million. I called him the 20 million pound man. And now <laughs> fucking Harry so Kane. So hold on. No, wait, wait. So you think it's. You think it's plausible for Glenn Kamara? You think in some world Glenn Kamara can go for twenty million pound, but thirty million for Kyogo is like unfucking thinkable? I don't. I don't. When did I say it? You said thirty million is too much. He's no worth. Well, oh, I think million. it is for a player his age, but but it's because of the league as well. Kamara was linked with like twenty million. So what age would Kyogo need to be for you to say, oh, thirty million is a bit fair? Twenty-five or under. 
He's three years, Jesus Christ. <laughs> three years is a long time in football. Uh, right. It doesn't knock off that much money in the transfer. Look, so uh, what you're saying is, right, if Harry Kane goes to United in the summer, which could happen, and they bring in Kyogo, they're actually getting an upgrade. I, 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 <laughs> I, Whoa. I, I, I genuinely believe that. What the fuck? What? What are you heart fans on these days? Who, who, do, do, do you think Celtic would be better with Harry Kane? <laughs> fuck I! What? The word. And just still. Aye. You think Kane? You think Kane would be a better fit for Celtic than Kyogo? I rate Kyogo, but to say he's better than Richarlison, right? But he's not better than fucking Harry Kane. I think he is. I hate Harry Kane. I think Harry Kane's the biggest mongoloid walking God's green earth. But the fuck is suggest he's worse than him? Come on. I think he is. Quite fair enough. <laughs> I think, no, I think hundred percent. I think I hope, I hope Kyogo goes to Spurs and Harry Kane stays and Kyogo is Kyogo better than Haaland? I wouldn't go that far, like, I mean... Is he better than Gabriel Jesus? I would take Kyogo for Jesus, huh? Uh, you know what, if you said Jesus for the start, I could accept it, because I feel like Kyogo actually has a way better goal scorer than Jesus, but... Um, oh, come on, Kyogo's movement and his, like, reactions and his attacking position, man, the guy, I, I think he... I, I, you know what? I think this guy's up there with Larson. People, no, I'm, not even, I'm not even trolling. You know what, I'll accept that compared to... K- no, but you're right, Kane got first... Alright, oh no, okay, oh, oh, let's say this then. Who's better? Prime Kane or Prime Larson? Oh, fucking Larson, obviously. How? But Larson plays in the Scottish Premiership, apparently that means you're shite. Yeah, Larson won fucking trophies. Harry Kane's won nothing. So you tell me if Kyogo went to Barcelona in 2006, he couldn't have won a trophy? Right, Kyogo done nothing before Celtic, let's be real, nothing major... Right? Was <laughs> Kane done at Tottenham? Nothing major? Yeah, but he's carried them. What would they Carried them to what, seventh place? I know, but it's a bit... You know, but do you not think about Harry Kane went to United? Hold That's on, hold on. Hold on. Level no, hold on. No, hold on. Uh, listen, are you tell... Like, like, we're talking about... But you are about Barcelona and you're about Henrik Larson. And oh, Henrik Larson won the Champions League Barcelona, won the La Liga. Think of prime Barcelona with the likes of Xavi and Iniesta at right, passing and Messi. Are you trying to tell me with Kyogo up front with those guys behind him? Are you trying? Are you tell me this guy won't be scoring fucking goal after goal after goal after goal with his movement and his like ability yeah, to, right. to read the game and get but into listen, certain positions? Right. Larson did it at United, Barca, Celtic. I mean, what was the other team? Elfsburg or something, right? He probably did it at them too. He would have to get his move, right? But Kyogo's just done it at Celtic. Yeah, he's not had a chance to move yet. Yeah, because he's not been good enough. That's why. No, I could have been there too. Not good. I mean, he's a top goal scorer in the league. Harry Kane got 30 goals in the league. Aye, well, Harry Kane's probably on penalties, isn't he? Okay, well, does he take the odd penalties? Nah, he doesn't yet? take that many, no. Who takes the penalties? Well, it was Juranovic, and then... Oh, he's been away for about six months, I'm, mate, so come on. It's not Kyogo doesn't take the pens. He just scores the tap pens. Kyogo doesn't take the pens. I'll put up, I, I, I'll put up for a poll. Who's better, Kyogo or Harry Kane? I think you're overrating Harry Kane, mate. I think he is overrated. Oh, but come on. Come on. Hey, do you want to get back on track with this transfer? Well, actually, you know what? I'll give you this. If Harry Kane was that good, would someone not move for him? I know, but he's, he's probably... Harry Kane's going to end up the... T- it, well, is Kugel better than Alan Shearer? He's an all-round player, aye. Was a goal scorer or no? Alan Shearer wasn't that good, man. I, 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 that's the God's honest truth. Like, is he better than Henri Kugel? <laughs> and he's not a fucking good like Henri. He's different gravy. <laughs> what gravy is Kane? Shite? <laughs> ah, bistro. G- G- is it the same shite Ryan Momonet producer when Max Abanovich takes uh, a shot? That di- diarrhea gravy. Uh, you know what? M- maybe I'm going a bit over the top on Kyogo. Maybe he's not that good, but. Hold on. See, like three months ago, you weren't even saying this guy's better than Hatati. What is Hatati better than fucking De Bruyne? I think Hatati is good. Right. Better than De Bruyne? I, mean, I wouldn't go out for Better no. than Odegaard? No. So who's he better than? Like a Fernandez? He doesn't, no, I just don't rate Harry Kane. I don't rate him either, but come on. I put it off for a poll. Put it off for a poll. See what these... I, these, these guys are obsessed, so if you can't win on this channel in a poll, you're not going to win. I, I genuinely believe you could stick a lot of people in Harry Kane's position and you would score goals. But Charleston's in his position. He's got, like, one Premier League goal. He's shite, I mean... I'm not saying Kyogo. I think Kyogo, right? I think Son's start, a better player than if, Kane. If, if, I, think, well, I agree with that, right? But I think if... I think if... Uh, Kyogo started up front for Tottenham and he was the main guy, he probably would get about near 20 goals. I think create more chances. 
I think he'd make more opportunities. We'll have to find out, guys, because guess what? Angie's leaving. So aye, we'll find out. But until next time, closing thoughts. Uh Kyogo going to Spurs, will it happen? I mean, I'd I'd like to see I I'd like to see Kyogo going to Premier League. I'd like to see how he would perform. People might say he's not big enough, he's not physical enough, but for me, I, I would say Kyogo is I mean, we hear this debate who's the best striker since Henrik Larson. That's a video that we are gonna put on the channel. I, I well, think he just it, went ahead and spoiled it, man. Well, I mean, even if Harry Kane joins Celtic tomorrow, man, it'd still be Kyogo. I think it's Kyogo. Fair enough. So I mean, yeah, I ap- apologise for being on the Kyogo train, but fair enough. Goal, yeah. Goals don't lie. This guy has the most. So there's no breaks on the Kyogo train. And apparently, it's, it's going to London. Apparently, we played for Motherwell. He'd have even more goals. So I mean, apparently, apparently, apparently. But until then, guys, Kyogo's on the move.